Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm coming on today to share with you my design team project for Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy in collaboration with Buy Boho Love on Etsy. And I will put a link both to Kim's shop and to Buy Boho Love down in the description box below. So I wanted to show you what I created using Buy Boho Love's kit. And I do show the kit in my last design team um, package reveal video and I will link it up here in the iCards if you want to check it out. It's so cute. And then of course I use some of the beautiful embellishments and laces from Angel Dream Crafts Kims to complete this little um, creation. So I want to start off with the little booklet that I created. Look at this beautiful digital. It's so pretty so pretty and for the binding i use um, this lace from kim shop it's straight on one side but a little um, dimensional on the side which i loved and then i put some ribbon roses from kim's shop and i got to use all these colors because it goes so well with this kit i love love the colors on this kit and down here i put a snippet from one of her laces and a snippet from that sequined pink fabric she has because i love the sparkle on it and then this is from the digital kit isn't it so so cute so over here on the uh, seam binding tie i put a bulb pin from kim's shop i used the white one and a little snippet from her pink bridal trim and one of these uh, adorable Oh, it looks so blurry. There we go. One of these adorable blue enamel bows. I love those enamel bow charms. So stinking cute. So that's there. And then um, I got it tied closed with some pink crinkly seam binding because who doesn't love crinkly seam binding? I swear it's one of my favorite things. But they're all my favorite things. I know I say that all the time. So inside this paper. Oh, I love this paper from the kit. It is so stinking cute. And this is one of the cards in the kit. And I just, um, tea, tea stain is the dye that I use to uh, ink around all the edges of all the things. And then I also sewed around uh, most of the edges of most of the things. So <laughs> this is just on with a piece of washi tape so that it can flip up and you could journal um, on the card and right here and so i did print on the back with a beautiful background paper from by boho love it's just so cute so here is that sequined fabric that kim has in her shop with a little uh, pink rosette right there just love it and then this paper i also um, printed one of her background pages on the back this is some dyed paper i had in my stash here's another page from the kit isn't it gorgeous I just love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And then in the middle, I created this pocket out of the dyed paper. And these are just some cards from the kit. So you could journal on the back. They are inked and sewn. Of course they are. That's sweet. So sweet. And then this is another paper from the kit. I love these pages. Absolutely love these pages. And then here is another card that just flips up and you can journal on the back of the card and under the card. So there's the little booklet I created. But this little kit that we um, got from her had so many cute things in it. So I also made two of these spool cards, which are so, so sweet. And on each one, I have a yard of fabric ribbon this is a fabric I had in my stash. It's got pink roses on it. And then this is the spool card and it comes with these. Now I see that the background matches down here and it probably was made to do that, but it blended in too well. <laughs> I wanted it to stand out a little bit so I put it on the lighter colored edge. And then I fastened it on with a bulb pin from Kim's store. This is a snippet from Kim's white bridal trim. This is from the kit, isn't it cute? And then this beautiful blue sewing machine, let's see if my camera, will, there it goes, is also from Kim's shop, isn't that so cute? So there's that one and there were two of these. This one is actually a fabric from Kim's shop. 
It has roses and script on it, and there's over a yard of that there. And another snippet from the bridal trim. And this time I used the dress form charm from Kim's shop. Isn't it cute? So aren't these so pretty? So pretty. But wait, there's more. This kit was amazing. It also had sample cards. So here's the short sample card. So you can see it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then I put some snippets of Kim's on here. I put this beautiful lace. It's a very wide lace she has in her store. It's so pretty. Then I used the sequined fabric. Y'all, I love it love it so much and then I used some of this butterfly netting that is actually a fabric that Kim has in her store so it's not a trim it's it's a big old fabric it's so cute so I popped that in there love if I had any more of that heart tool trim because you know it's my favorite I would have stuck that in here but I've absolutely used all that I have none of that left sad face I need to get some more of that and so this was a uh, longer sample card which is just these are so cute. I absolutely love these. And so I put a, a few of my favorites on here of Kim's. This is this long with this beautiful scalloped edge. This is such a beautiful, beautiful lace. I love it. It had to go on here. I like this one. I use this one a lot. Let me show you. It has like the top stitching and it's this really pretty netting and it's just this really delicate color. Love, love, love. And then this beautiful, the netting laces, I'm really enjoying them lately. I really am. And then this, this lace from Kim's store, I hoard it. I don't even use it. It's so pretty. I just look at it, but I thought I could spare a snippet <laughs> to go on the sample card. So, so cute. So all of this, and plus it came with this envelope that I got to tell you how much I loved creating this. Look at this. Look at this thing. So let me scooch the bits. Oh, you guys, I am so in love with this. So um, it comes with the envelope. I used this piece from the kit to make like a little um, tuck spot, little belly band. This is a card from the kit that's also got the background paper printed on the back and it just slides right in there. So cute. That's the back. Now here's the front. It's absolutely gorgeous. And you know what? I didn't even stickle. I thought about it. You know I did. But it already had so much sparkle. I just felt like it didn't need it. But let's talk about what is on this baby. So I have the pleated tool trim from Kim's shop, which Kim has in um, a bunch of colors. And I love all the colors. This is such a great trim. It adds such a softness to all my projects. I must use... I probably have used the pleated tool trim on more projects than any of the laces and trims in Kim shop. I'm sure I have. I love it. And then this gorgeousness, this beaded, ugh, this beaded trim, which I have in the pink and the white from Kim shop. I just love it. And it looks great there. So instead of putting like an edging trim, I decided I'd just use my crinkled pink seam binding to go along the edge and I think it just turned out cute. I really do like that. Then I popped up, uh, popped on a little vintage doily that I had in my stash and then this beautiful bling from Kim's store. It is so, so pretty. I love it so much. So I used a Velcro closure, which I am loving the Velcro closures lately, I have to say. <laughs> and I didn't put, oh, excuse me. I think I might have to sneeze, <laughs> but my nose can't decide. Okay. I didn't put an edging trim here, but I put the tool trim upside down so that the finished edge would be on this side. And I think that looks fine. It's very pretty. And then the, here is the envelope. Isn't this just gorgeous? What a gorgeous digital. And I sewed the thing shut instead of gluing it. And then inside are these bits from the kit. So there's this little card. It's so pretty. And again, the backs are all printed with her background paper, which is so cute. And then there is this card, which goes this way. 
Just can't decide if it wants to focus or not. And then there's this. Isn't that beautiful? This is just such a beautiful image. Oh, I love, love, love it. So those just tuck right in here. I had so much fun creating this little project. I mean, the digital uh, is beautiful and Kim's goodies, you know, I'm a fan. <laughs> So I just love it. I would love for you to leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And you can find this for sale in my Etsy store, which you'll find a link to my Etsy store below. And you'll also find a link to all the other designers on Angel Dream Crafts Kim's team. Please go and check them out and show them some love. And I will see you all on the next one. Bye, everybody.